Hey, John Cristani here, internet entrepreneur and marketer. And I'm gonna be going over in this video email marketing and what the best things to do in 2020 are going to be for your business or whether you're working as an agency, whatever you're trying to do email marketing wise. And I have six powerful tips right here that will help you supercharge your email marketing for 2020. Now, as you know, Email marketing is one of the highest ROI forms of marketing. $1 in equals $44 out. So it is one of the highest, biggest profit centers, and the more you leverage it to make more money for your business, the more successful your business will be. Now I'll be going over these six tips, as well as three bonus tips that are kinda cutty and have allowed me to get an even bigger competitive edge over the people in my space. So stay tuned, let's check it out. We're gonna go over some hot stuff right here. So it's getting increasingly competitive to get into the inbox. Now that you have all these different tabs and Gmail, the promotions, the primary, social, et cetera, and other email providers are catching up. People are getting inundated by so much email. In order to stay competitive, in order to get that 44 times ROI from email marketing, you really have to be implementing every one of these tips here. Now, the first thing to understand about email marketing is it's transactional email marketing. If you're doing this to make sales, if you're doing this to get leads, if you're doing this to get customers interacting with your promotions, the best form of design is actually no design. That might sound crazy, but just having text and spacing out the lines, having maybe one sentence per line is actually the best form of email marketing. Otherwise, it looks like a promotional email. Normal emails that come into your inbox usually aren't designed from friends or family. Most friends or family don't actually put funny graphics on email. Most people just send out basic text and that's how you're going to get the best response rate out of your email if you're looking for some sort of response. Tip number two is stories. You want to tell stories within your email copy. Think of it like a newsletter. Think of it like, like an opportunity to show people what transformation that your product or service can create on their life. You show somebody that how this coffee mug, you know, what is it, Yeti coffee mug, how this coffee mug has been so much better for you know the customer than any other coffee mug. Maybe I've I've been through coffee mugs all the time, and I'd break them, I they drop them, they fall, they don't keep things hot long enough. And you tell a story about how your coffee mug or whatever that is has affected for positive ways the customer's life. The third tip is incorporate video. People love video. Video works. You're watching a video right here. Video works because if a picture tells a thousand words, then a video tells like a thousand pictures, which is like a million words, right? So video is great for showing, whether you're showing customers, it's great for showing a real sense of things. If you just show a smiling customer's face with a thumbs up sign, maybe it's a customer, maybe it's a stock photo, nobody really knows. But when you actually have a video of a customer saying a positive story about how your your product or service affected their life for the better, people can actually connect and people can say, oh, I see myself within that person's video. Or if there's a message from the CEO, for instance, from a company saying, you know, and, and then there's a video component, you can preface, you can link to video within your email, okay? And this is a very powerful thing. Send people further down the rabbit hole of connecting with your company because the more they do so, the more you build up that relationship with the customer. And that relationship is increasingly valuable in a sea of just a gazillion emails that gets sent out every day. It really differentiates you, so you gotta take advantage of it if you're serious about building a strong brand. The next thing you wanna understand is go with proven content. Okay, we send out about four million emails a month in my business, four million emails a month 
in my business. And we know what works. We know what content works at this point. We know what emails work. So we'll refresh them. We'll send out the same emails over and over again because we know the content works. Maybe we'll vary up the subject line, but we will send out content all the time that we know works. Again, why mess with things if it's already worked in the past? Send it out again, use a new subject line. And you can also do this with whatever your best performing content is on your blog or your vlog. Some of my YouTube videos get tons of views. I know that that means that's content my customers wanna see. So I'll repurpose I'll, I'll write out the video, right? I'll take the same headline of the video and I'll slap it on an email. I'll write an email based around the video that got a lot of views. Very easy. Again, I'm not trying to reinvent the wheel here. None of us are. We just wanna use what works and what engages with our customers. And oftentimes, you already have that in your business. It might be in an Instagram post, it might be in a Twitter post, it might be in a blog, it might be in a vlog, but wherever it is, or it might be on a competitor's vlog or Instagram or whatever, but whatever it is, there's a lot of proven content out there. And this is gonna be the most surefire way to make sure that you are constantly engaging your prospects. Another powerful way of marketing is segmenting your list. So you might have a lot of people coming in and inquiring about your business or about some part of you know working with you. Let's say you're a landscaper. Maybe you get some people who are in your area for landscaping and maybe you get some people who are out of your area for landscaping or maybe you get people contacting you about landscaping and you also get people contacting you about tree trimming or maybe it's you know fixing their house. If you segment your list in a smart way, you can Bet, create better messages for each of those segments. Now, really the main ways I segment my list in my business is I segment the people who are actual customers of mine and I segment people who are, act, who are not customers of mine, right? This is the most basic segmentation. If people have already purchased this training course from me, I send them different information. If people haven't, I send them totally different information. Now, you wanna make sure you're segmenting your list so you can better target people within your business. Okay, this one is pretty cutty. It's called scrubbing your list. Now, what is scrubbing your list, John, you might think? Well, scrubbing your list, and you're gonna love the bonus tips if you're, gonna, if you're interested in what this is. Scrubbing your list means that basically you're getting rid of people who are not opening your emails. Why would you get rid of people? Well, email marketing, there's, there's a big mindset shift you have to make about email marketing going into 2020. And let me explain. You used to look at email like a perpetual marketing machine, or at least many of us marketers who got started earlier did. Is you looked at it like you collected an email address once, and now suddenly you had an email, you had a, you had a list forever, right? Or you have, let's say you have 100,000 people opt into your email list. You have 100,000 people and it just grows. It's not the case anymore. An email list actually has a finite lifespan to it. So if you have 100,000 people on your list, three months later that list is only gonna be worth 40,000 people, okay? So it declines. It's got a finite lifespan to it. You can't look at it like a perpetual money machine anymore. It's got a finite lifespan. And with that, you have to actually get rid of the people who are not opening your emails. And here's the reason. If you're not getting rid of the people who are not opening your emails, your list is going to decline faster than you would like. So if we were to say that, let's say you start off, you get 100,000 people that join your list and you don't want to scrub any of them. Here's how many people will receive your emails over time. Okay, it's just a big line down. Okay, that's it. And over time, and nobody's gonna receive your emails. That's because you're not scrubbing your list. That's because you're not clearing your list of the unopeners. Now here's your list if you get rid of the people who are not opening your emails. It's a much better line down, right? That's what happens. And here's your list if you're not even allowing people to unsubscribe. 
okay? It just goes down really fast. The point being, would you rather, rather make a little bit of money or a lot of money? Okay, you'd probably rather make a lot of money. You have to clear your list of the non-openers. And I'd say clear your list of non-openers. If people haven't opened an email from you for 60 days, you got to clear them off. So it's a perpetual thing. They're not opening the emails anyway, so they're just not going to do you any good. But the more you clear them off, the more highly that the other email providers. There's an algorithm working behind the scenes here. There's a lot of algorithms and they look to see if people are opening the emails. Now, if you clear your list of the 30, 60 day openers, I clear my list of 30 day openers, which is a lot more aggressive. You end up getting higher open rates. You end up inboxing more and getting higher open rates. So that's what you want to do. You want to scrub your list. Now, here's for the first bonus tip, which is pretty exciting. It's actually vary your from lines, okay? So let's say I send an email that says, my name is John C. Okay. Now, the next email I send, I might want to send an email that says, my name is John Cristani. Okay. The next email I send, I might just want to say, JC, you know, your friend. You can vary your from lines and you'll actually get higher open rates. It just throws people off a little bit. It's a little bit of a pattern interrupt. There's a little bit of a hack that not many people are doing but it's an easy way to increase your engagement five, 10%. Doesn't hurt, right? Here's another little bonus tip is your email list, most people treat it as just a single personality. You can actually have multiple personalities within your email list. So I could have an email sent out from, you know, me one day, and then the next day I can have it sent out from my accountant that says, hey, this is Roger Moore. John's accountant and you know we realized that we haven't hit our sales numbers for the end of the month and we're giving a major discount to incentivize as many new customers as possible the last two days of November, okay, or whatever it is. And he says, here's the link to sign up. John won't like me doing this, but you know, I just wanna make sure that we hit our numbers as a company this month. So help me out, take advantage of this discount when John finds out that I sent this email, he might freak, but when he finds out we hit numbers, I won't be fired. Something crazy like that, right? You just create a different personality. Then maybe I have my wife send an email. I could write the email. I'd have the name of the person sending the email be, you know, Sarah Cristani. And it could be an email from Sarah Cristani. I could have an email go out from my daughter saying, hey, it's Lily, John's daughter. I could have it all misspelled. It would be funny and she could say, hey, my daddy's a really nice guy. He created a free training for you and maybe you can check it out, right? These are ways of playing with people, giving them, if somebody hasn't been open, didn't open some of your, you know, more direct promotional emails for a couple days, they see, a, you know, an email from Lily Cristani and it'll kind of like be like, what is this? And make, make them click. So you can, you can have fun with things. Go for it. And the third bonus tip is that if you need extra emails to throw in your autoresponder, check out affiliate promotions. And you can check out my JV page. I have one of the top converting products on the internet right now. We have really great email sequences, insane subject lines, insane copywriting. If for anything else, I'd encourage you just to check out the emails that me and my team have written, we have a 14 day sequence that people plug into their autoresponder and it converts like amazing. It's like a knife cutting through butter and it'll earn you a lot of money in commissions if you just implement this sequence in your autoresponder. So check it out on our JV page. There should be a link in the description or in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you give this a big like. You hit the subscribe button, hit the notification bell so you never miss the videos I come out with. I look forward to talking to you sometime soon.